Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. You may remember my razor edge bow. I'm not using it very much anymore because I now have the Liberty one, which is a smaller and better bow. But I think it's, it's really too good of a bow to let it catch dust. So uh, I decided to make a crossbow from it. This is entirely made out of wood. And the mechanism is the same rolling nut mechanism as on my slingshot crossbow with this kind of grip-like trigger system here. I've been using the original mounting holes for the sighting system and the arrow rest. And the arrow rest has just been attached to the thing in wood. It shoots really well. Cocking is really easy because you just have to pull up and since this is a compound it has a let off which means that the mechanism isn't really under any kind of charge because it has a 15% let off. Okay, let's shoot with it. You can also hold it like that. It's kind of fun. <laughs> it's a fun toy now. And of course, with just a few minutes of time, I can detach it and use it just like a normal bow again. Two new slingshots. One is this one. It's made from um, dogwood, the tree that I fell. And um, I attached antler scales. It's really a nice slingshot. It's an expert slingshot with a narrow, low fork. Lots of power, but you gotta flip it. I made one more six circle shooter. And this one is from Makamong wood. It's a hardwood that, is, uh, that grows in Southeast Asia. Uh, it of course has a multiplex core. I love the grain of this wood. And it's very, very comfortable to hold. A slingshot needs a pouch. And I always also use a center hole. And of course the dimension of the pouch has to meet the dimension of the ammo. In this case a 20 mm steel ball. This is real big slingshot ammo, 20 mm steel. But this, this is the ammo I want to shoot with the cannon in two weeks from now. It's a four kilogram shot put ball. And of course I need a bigger, far bigger pouch for it. So this is the pouch I made for the shot put. It's made from three mm leather, two of them. And it really matches the size of the ammo. See, like this. And I want to use real heavy bands. I think I have to use very heavy bands. Let's hope I can shoot it with about 50 meters per second. This is the smallest ammo that I want to shoot with the monster cannon. And um, as you see, the pouch is a little bit too big for it, but not much. It's needed anyway for the draw weight. I also found these wheels for the cannon on eBay for one euro. For two of them, of course. Real nice. I think they are from an old firefighter card. And they are iron winged. And I think perfect for the project. Can't wait. Remember, 49 slingshots as prices. Uh, one per weekend. All you have to do is go on my blog and leave a comment to a recent blog entry. Well, that was it for today. Thanks and bye-bye.